Hello guys, and today I am doing a reaction to a video of The Richest. Um, they're a really good channel and they taught me a lot of stuff that I really didn't know. So you should go check them out. I'll leave the link to the original video in the, in the description down below. I always mess up on that part, I'm sorry. Let's go. Insects you won't believe actually exist. Japanese mountain leech. The Japanese mountain leech is often mistaken for a snake due to its large size. They can also swallow a worm whole. Leeches can come from anywhere in the woods and typically will fall on you. They can hide themselves in your shoes so that they can literally leech off of you undetected. These leeches will release an anticoagulant and numbing agent so you will remain unaware of anything going on. Having something slither towards you and feed off of you undetected is the product of horror films. That's disgusting. Assassin bug. If you're a bug and you run into an assassin bug, you can kiss your existence goodbye. The assassin bug stabs their prey to death and then injects a poison that turns their insides into liquid. These bugs are violent and ruthless. There is even a species called Apetax that even wears the enemy corpses of their prey on their backs like trophies. This is why I hate insects. I can't take it. But I they're they're pretty interesting, so I like I study them anyways. If I'm making weird faces, I'm sorry, this is disgusting. Giant Weta. And I'm sorry. I'm While giant Wettas are generally harmless, but their appearance quiet. is truly a terrifying as they are three times the weight of a typical mouse. The giant Weta is so big it can eat a regular carrot and be able to eat it faster than the average human. They are the heaviest insects in the world and can be found in the country of New Zealand. Africanized honeybee. The origins of the Africanized honeybee are of science fiction. In the 1950s, European scientists bred a special honeybee from an African honeybee and a European honeybee for the purpose of making honey in more tropical areas. However, the hybrid escaped and started to breed all mm. on its own, thus the creation of Africanized honeybees, also known as killer bees. They are much more territorial than European bees. For example, if you disturb the hive of a European bee, okay you'll get this. about 20 yeah, stings. Yes. If you disturb the hive of Africanized honeybees, you're looking at 2,000 stings and organ failure from their venom. Killer bees have killed hundreds of people, and it doesn't take much to provoke an attack. Botfly. Well, if you is. ever travel in Central or South America, beware of the botfly. The botfly is a parasite yeah, that can take residence in humans. Too. A female botfly will lay her eggs on a mosquito, and once the egg is set upon human flesh and senses the temperature change, the egg hatches. The larva then takes residence in the human skin. Larva can grow up to the size of a human pinky, and people have had to have surgery to remove the larva since they are covered in spikes. Some people have reported that they can feel the larva moving around under their skin. Huntsman Spider. Like Images spiders. of the giant huntsman spider have sent arachnophobes into hysterics and causing them to swear to never visit Australia. The huntsman spider is the largest and fastest spider in the world. They have a leg span of up to five inches. Unlike their spidery brethren, they don't build webs to catch their prey. Instead, they just hunt and catch their prey with their own giant legs. With the size of the huntsman, they can easily tackle bugs, insects, and small animals. This is what we're doing. Giant centipede. Found in the moist and warm really grounds of South America, the giant centipede, also known scientifically as Scolopendra giganta, can grow up to 35 centimeters long and have 46 legs. The giant centipede typically hunts for bugs and carcasses by day, but at night the centipede goes for larger animals like lizards, frogs, and snakes. The centipede also releases a venom that can lightly affect humans. The dark brown, yellow, and black exteriors are intimidating enough as it is, but they are actually becoming exotic pets. Cicada. Cicadas can be found all over the world. They are harmless in some ways, but they can wreak havoc on your life in an instant. First of all, they are born and grow underground, meaning that your yard could be a cicada nest waiting to happen. When cicadas hit puberty, they rise from the ground and start to bury themselves into trees and lay their eggs. Cicadas have sometimes mistaken um, humans for trees and tried to too. burrow into legs um, and lay their right, eggs in limbs. Also, cicadas can produce like sounds of up to 120 decibels, louder than your typical rock concert. Ooh. 
Japanese Hornet. It's safe to say that if you run into a Japanese Hornet, you're pretty much out of luck. First of all, these Hornets are huge, and they can grow up to two inches in length, and their stinger has a diameter of a quarter inch and can fly between 25 to 60 miles per hour. They typically prey upon honeybees, and one Hornet can chop up 40 bees per minute. Japanese farmers will keep hives of honeybees, and Hornets will spray a pheromone to alert their brethren of an upcoming attack. A team of Hornets can kill and dismember about 30,000 bees. They will also chop up the body parts into bite-sized pieces and feed them to their larvae. Not to mention, Japanese Hornets have venom that can melt human flesh and pretty much destroy our nervous system. Giant Orb Weaving Spider Not too long ago, people became more aware of the giant orb weaving spider because of an image circulating around the internet of one of these spiders attacking and eating a bird. The bird had gotten caught in the spider's web and became the spider's lunch. They are found in Australia, and they build webs high up in trees made up of a strong protein so that larger bugs can be caught. The giant orb weaving spider eating the bird is supposedly a rare event, but has stunned wildlife experts. Well, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I hope you like, comment, and subscribe, or dislike, see if I care. Um, and go to this channel and this video. I will leave the link to the video in the description down below. You can check out the channel from the video, you know, because you're on YouTube. So, yeah, bye.